So, Will, how's it feel? Tired. You feel tired? Tired. Yeah, you're doing pretty good, though, bro. You're doing pretty good. Oh, I can beat this guy. Yeah, your volume of speaking is a little bit lower than usual. Yeah. Why do you look so different today? Is your hair different? Yeah, his hair is like flowing. I didn't wash my hair. I look like this guy. I look like him. Look. If I comb my hair, it would look just like yours. There you go. Flatten it out a little bit. I need to get a haircut. In case you guys didn't know, we also do basic washes too. You still get a nice three bucket method system wash, which is preferred to minimize scratching and swirl marks, things like that. Uh, so we do offer nice, clean, basic washes for you know weekly, monthly, whatever you want to do. Look at this Tesla Model X, guys. Freak. Skin, sick, love the color. Midnight silver on satin guard, man. It just looks so mean, especially on a gloomy day like this. It looks great. I'm gonna be doing a little separate video for just this Tesla. Basically, do a walk around of it, show you what we've done to it. Everything from satin guard to the chrome delete and paint the little badges. So, if you wanna watch that, be on the lookout for that when it comes out. So, I get this question asked a lot. If I do a chrome delete, Haywood, how long will it last? So, we did this car just a little over a year ago. This car has 15,000 miles on it. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around the chrome deleted areas, like the windows the door handles, the mirrors, the fender badges, and just show you guys how it has fared after a year. All right, so we'll start with the fender badges. So this is on the driver's side, as you guys can see. Still looking really good, honestly. I'm really impressed. There's nothing, I know it's kind of small, so it doesn't really get damaged. Edges are still down, everything looks good. Mirrors look good. But the base area is normally where I would see wear from like the mirror folding in and out. But no, it looks really good. Everything's laid down. It's a little dirty just from like, you know, being driven, but that's just, that's just normal. Same thing with the mirror trims here. There's some oil spots, but that's just from people touching it. And here's what it looks like on the other side. The thing with matte is that since it's so, I guess, not shiny, it just shows a lot of the dirt. Passenger rear door, still looking really good. I'm impressed. There's some oil spots here, just from people pressing it, you know, their fingers, things like that. But a quick detail spray should be able to remove that, so nothing serious. Same thing with this one as well. Just You can just kind of see where, like, the really highly touched areas like this part here it's a little bit shinier because it's of oil and we also did the badges in the front and the rear one of the concerns with badges is that since especially this one since it's in the front is you know after a while rocks can hit it it can chip it can damage it and then eventually chrome might show through but man it still looks really good there's no damage on it whatsoever. Hopefully this gives you an idea what to expect. Uh, again, every car is different, every scenario is different, but at least this gives you an idea. Check, Check it out. out. All right, like one with a little rounded thing. What am I looking at? Oh, do you remember how the radar was mounted on the Bugatti? So what Ted is referring to is this radar setup here. I'm not sure who did it, and honestly, I really don't care. But as you can see, this Bugatti has a radar installed on it, and it was just poorly mounted to the top with adhesive tape. As you guys can see, it's just two adhesive tape, one stacked on top of the other, and they did that just to get that angle, that wedge angle. It looks really ratchet. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so those little platforms that Princeton made are going to replace what you see here and make it look a lot more professional, a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. We notice things and we want to make it better for the owner because it is a $4.2 million car. Look what we had Princeton made down, because this, down, this, this guy knows how to make everything. He custom formed this mount to mount the laser diffuser and it follows the curvature of the diffuser to put it in there. Let me see the curved one. That's pretty cool. I think, yeah, and I recessed I think the, the tape in there so you'd like barely see it. Oh yeah, yeah. That's another detail. He didn't just put double side tape on top, he recessed it so the um, tape sits in the groove. Nice. Yeah, that's the, yeah, there even thing. has the Bugatti logo. Look how smooth it is. It doesn't have the those 3D print grains. This is custom made just for this setup right here. There's even that curve right here. And the point of this curve is so then it will line up perfectly with the edge of the radar. You made all this yourself? Yeah. It's so light. It's evil looking. Wow. What the? Is it fun? You no, know, I've had to walk a dog, but I've never had to walk a Bugatti. Hey, hey, no, no. Get back here, get back here. All right, so we're now we're getting ready to tint the Bugatti. I don't know if I captured this in the video, but this is that light. It's like an arc of light. It is so sick. What? This is terrible. This right. car makes me want to take it. Wait, what? I'm going for the dome. What the f <laughs> <laughs> One long later.
Do you ever think this day would come, Dustin? That one day, all your tinting experience and training will lead you to this very moment. This wasn't the moment, bro. Deep Talks with EVS Motors. Yo, I saw the worst infomercial the other day. They were being serious. It's a chess set of Democrats and Republicans. And they had Dick Cheney and George Bush and then Obama and uh, I don't know who else was, was the rooks. It wasn't, they weren't even kings and queens. The kings and queens were going to be this year. They're like, if you order, we're going to make these. Uh, whoever the candidates are and then ship them to you. You're just like, oh my gosh, this is the worst idea. Chess sets can range up to $600 and you're just like... That's like an infomercial for Corolla. It's like, cars can range up to $4 million. <laughs> <laughs> this day and age, cars are outrageous. Ooh, that's a good fit right there. Look at that. Precision. So we are now done. So this is a little bit darker, right? Nothing too crazy, but the heat rejection is gonna be on point. Same with this side as well. All right guys, I'm ending the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Click up here to see a video recommended just for you, down here for our newest video, and up here if you want to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Yo, I wonder what's faster, driving a Bugatti top speed across the country or driving it at 120 miles an hour across the country. Just think of how much fuel it burns through at top speed and how much you would have to stop. But how much ground would you cover 